I'm Mark Ayla from markayla.com. I'm in the develop module of Lightroom and I'm going to apply a preset to this image. Now a preset is a, a one-click uh, wonder if you like because it applies uh, numerous settings just with a single click. Basically it's a pre-packaged look. Now you can create them yourselves or you can download them online and install them in Lightroom. Let's take a look at one of the uh, presets that ships with Lightroom. I'll just open one of the uh, presets folder here. Uh, I have some Lightroom color presets and then I can simply uh, click on one of these um, presets just to see what uh, Adobe is giving us for free. Um, basically you can see that there's been numerous adjustments uh, both to the temperature, tint, blacks, whites, but there may also be other adjustments in other panels. Um, in this pa in this case, there are no uh, adjustments in the HSL panel, but um, we might have to hunt around to find out where other adjustments are taking place. Now, I'll just uh, reset that. I'll just do a Command uh, Z or Control Z in order to uh, undo that to um, back to a, a no adjustment version of this image. Uh, I want to show you how to install presets that you might acquire from online and um, uh, I am currently giving away some of my own presets that you can download and install for free so I really wanted to take the opportunity to show you how uh, that process works okay so first of all uh, we'll come up to uh, Lightroom's preferences now uh, this is found in the edit menu for PC users and in the Lightroom menu for Mac users and there's just click on the preferences there and this will open up um, Lightroom's preferences and we need to come to the second tab which is the presets preferences Okay, now the preferences are stored in a folder deep within your operating system and uh, to make that easily accessible uh, Lightroom have given us this very useful little button called show Lightroom presets folder and this will open it out so we can see all of the folders of presets that Lightroom is able to use. We're interested in however the develop presets and it shows you the presets folders that are currently being used by Lightroom. Uh, some of them uh, ship uh, with Lightroom, these are ones that I've uh, added. Okay, now as I said, I'm giving away some presets. This is the ACS The Dirty Dozen uh, by Mark Gaylor. And I'll just, uh, if I've downloaded this from my site, it'll uh, come down as a zipped folder. We'll just unzip it and then we can copy and paste or simply drag it in to the develop presets folder to add these presets. Okay, now we're done with that. We can just uh, close all of these folders. We can also uh, close the preferences. Now they won't automatically appear here inside of the presets panel here we have to quit um, Lightroom and restart Lightroom so I'll just uh, quit uh, Lightroom uh, only takes a few seconds to restart uh, because new presets are loaded uh, as we start up the Lightroom catalog okay so as I come back into that develop module you'll see here are my dirty dozen presets okay and uh, if I wanted to show you one of them I would just simply click uh, I'll go for dramatic uh, split high and just show you that's our one quick wonder indeed you can see I've been very busy in numerous panels uh, both the basic panel and also uh, particularly the split toning panel in order to grade uh, this image into this particular look if you don't like um, this uh, look and you wanted to try a different one then all you need to do is click on the last preset which is zero all except crop Okay, because that will return the image um, to the uh, non-edited stage, but uh, if you have been cropping your image, it'll leave your crop and any lens corrections that you've been doing alone. And that is often much better than just hitting the reset, because as you can see, I've straightened and also keystoned the verticals of this image. So uh, it's much better just to come to the zero all preset here. And uh, this is a great way of trying different presets here. I could, for instance, try the freeze and then hit the zero all then hit the uh, dramatic split tone perhaps with the high setting and as you can see we're actually getting a little bit of a preview as I roll over these now the first six of the presets are um, basically variations on a theme so they're not dramatically different but you can run down these first six dramatic looking for the one that best suits your particular taste 
Okay, let's go back to the grid menu here and try the same preset, perhaps on a portrait image. So we'll go into the develop and I'll try that um, dramatic split tone high on this particular image to give it uh, that uh, sort of oldie worldy feel here. Um, I'll also click on the zero all except crop and try that dramatic split with a little bit more of a color pop just a little bit of extra saturation in some of those key colors there okay and let's try um, some of the um, the non-dramatic presets that I'm also giving away in this package so we'll go back into the grid view and uh, we'll select this one um, and put that one into the develop module. This one is, um, is a good image to try out uh, a preset that I've called freeze. Okay, basically it pushes the midtones and highlights much higher in lightness, but without clipping them. Okay, now you might want to fine tune any of the presets in the basic panel. Okay, so some will look um, a, a little bit better um, if you actually fine tune the exposure slider primarily there, okay, in order to get that. Now, this is very reminiscent of a, a bleach bypass look. And now, this is actually a little bit better than the one that ships with Lightroom. So, if you're already familiar with that uh, technique, I would definitely try um, my version of that bleach bypass look that I call freeze here. And again, I'll just go and um, access one of the other images I want to demonstrate here. And again, pushing that into the develop module. And uh, I'm going to try one of the uh, semi sepia. Now I'll try the semi sepia and uh, show you that it's not uh, a straight sepia look here. I'm retaining some of the original colors, some of the key colors in here. And you'll see that the lips and also the eyes there, we've got a little bit of the original color left in. And I actually prefer this to just a, a straight sepia tone look. Now this one's a little bit bright for me, so I'm just going to drop the exposure ever so slightly there in order to fine tune that look. And remember, if you're wanting to try an alternative look always remember to come back to that zero first uh, before applying a different look here I'll choose the semi cool tone look there and again you can see it's not all cool tones again a little bit of the warmth is left in one of those key colors which is found in the lips there and again this does uh, look a little bit better with the exposure dropped ever so slightly. Okay, so that is basically an introduction to how to um, uh, use the presets, but also how we can install them if we find presets online. And if you want to uh, try out my presets, you can uh, access them uh, from the download section of markgaylor.com. Okay, thanks. I am Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com, and I'll catch you online next time.